hey guys uh, welcome back in this video i will talk about uh, what's next after churn estimation because in the previous videos we were talking about how to perform the churn estimation mm, but once we have the churn estimation now uh, what to do next okay so it is a noise estimation i will come to that uh, because uh, let us consider the channel model okay so the simple uh, across uh, one sub carrier i will take uh, y is equal to uh, hx plus n right so from the uh, transmitter let's say uh, this is the transmitter and we have the receiver so uh, i would have transmitted uh, symbol x right and it will go go via channel and it will become hx and then uh, noise will be added at the receiver and then then we get y so this is y right so but whatever has been transmitted that should be recover uh, recovered at receiver so basically i should get x here to get x Uh, but uh, but we we need to know h so that's why we are doing channel estimation right so we didn't uh, uh, tell anything much about uh, uh, noise but uh, we will we will try to see you know why do we need even noise as well i mean noise estimation okay so first to perform the channel uh, we saw that in the in, in the in the beginning of this series Uh, we need to know this even x so we call this as x uh, pilots right so for now what i will do i will consider the ofd upgrade okay in the ofd upgrade as uh, i was always mentioning you know we have multiple symbols and uh, it will go up to 14 symbol for one slot right this is a ofd upgrade so this is in case of 4g or 5g okay now um to do channel estimation h across one symbol so i have taken the example of the third symbol where we can transmit the pilots okay as per uh, 3gpp specification we call it as uh, dmrs now the thing is uh, um, i will just take a different color um, across this we have the dmrs so here uh, we will perform um, uh, h at fine now using this h at okay what will be there in the uh, other uh, um, other places so we will have here data right data meaning uh, x so here also we will we will have data here also we will have data like in all the other system let's say for example we have the data so across all the symbols we need to use this h and we should get back uh, our x our data whatever we have transmitted right so what is the modulation or sorry what is the uh, signal processing block which we need to use that is equalization right so in my previous series uh, 4g 5g my mo ofdm we have spoken about many equalization techniques like zero forcing mmsc mmsc irc and all and we had seen that um, you know for a practical consideration uh, mmsc irc uh, is the one which we should be using right okay so let us write the equation for this so i would say you know x at uh, would equal to you know i will write 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 it in for the my mo case um you know h hermitian h plus r n n okay all inverse uh h hermitian into y bar now we got this h okay so the thing is that uh, till now um i have taken the uh, equation y is equal to hx plus n this is uh, you know across uh, uh, single sub carrier okay for a ciso case but uh, in in the upcoming video let me you know talk about uh, my mo channel estimation how to do that what are the strategies used all right so in which case how does it become y is equal to uh, hx bar plus n bar this is also you know across you know single sub carrier the equation would look like this you know such kind of equation will be there across multiple sub carriers so for this equation uh, just now had uh, written the x at okay so definitely here you need h channel matrix h so uh, that uh, uh, estimate uh, we can we can do okay we we can do across uh, the symbol third third symbol so that we have got it but what is rnn 
So RNN is nothing but a covariance matrix of noise. Okay, that is the you know, expectation of n bar n bar armation. So this n bar is uh, you know r cross one. This is number of uh, receive antenna into one. So this is uh, nothing but noise, right? So we have to perform the noise estimation, uh, and that is required for performing uh, you know equalization or uh, MMSC IRC equalization. This is this uh, uh, since we are talking about MMSC IRC, this is interference rejection combining uh, uh, equalization, right? So it is just noise. It is just not noise. It is you know the interference plus noise. Okay. So we got to know that uh, why do we need to estimate the noise? Uh, okay. So now what what is the equation we need to use? So now I am considering H X. Right. I am directly taking the uh, MIMO case here. We will see in the upcoming videos how to do how to perform MIMO cell estimation. Okay. Um, so this is a simple equation, right? Just try to solve the equation. I am not going to uh, tell you any specific algorithm from um, from uh, you know, any textbook or something like that. But uh, we can try to solve the simple mathematical equations. Apart from that, you need to derive your own proprietary algorithms for your company. Okay. So this is considering this as a simple equation. How can I do? Just can I say like this? Because okay, so this noise estimation we can do it on the third symbol where we transmitted DMRS or pilots, right? So I know X bar. X bar is a pilot or uh, DMRS, okay? Across which even I had I I have a, a chat. So this also known. This also known. So these two are known, and this is the received signal. So uh, considering uh, right now this has unknown quantity, we can get this using this expression. All right. So this can be let's say a chat. So once we know uh, n bar, then you perform on the you know expectation of n bar n bar emission uh, to get R n n. Okay. Once uh, you get to this one and using uh, even the chance estimation uh, a chat. Uh, you can go back and perform your MMSC IRC to, to get back your data x bar at. Okay, this this should be done across symbol number one, two, uh, four, five. It goes up to fourteen. Basically, wherever there is no DMRS, we should be performing this. Okay, we should be performing this to get back uh, the data. So I hope you got the clarity. You know, across wherever DMRS symbol is there, we will perform. Um, the channel estimation. Um, basically, we have fixed, uh, uh, you know, least square as the best strategy to use uh, to use to perform the channel estimation, considering even a practical scenario. Um, and across the data, we have chosen, you know, MMS IRC is the best strategy to go for, considering the uh, practical scenario. So I hope you got the clarity. In the upcoming video, let's talk about, uh, you know, my channel estimation. That is one thing. And even we'll talk about the moving average, which is a more relevant one to use under high speed scenario. And even we'll talk about what are the further estimations which we need to do. Like here we have seen noise estimation. Is there any other estimation that is required? And what is the purpose of that estimation? Okay. Thank you very much. If you're looking for more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Bye bye.